Well, Dick, they passed their first test. The second round game, though, should prove to be more difficult between the Texas Longhorns and the Tennessee Volunteers. It's showtime, baby. Let's skip the intros and get this one started. You got it, partner. So without any further delay, let's get this one started. The Volunteers should be looking at a tough fight tonight, Dick. What have they got to do to win this thing? They've got to stick to their game plan and focus on these keys. Number one, don't allow any good looks from beyond the arc. Challenge every shot. Second, get the ball to your big man on the block early. That'll open up the perimeter game, baby. And finally, keep it simple defensively and play as a unit. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court and we'll see how this one plays out. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Both teams are looking to get something going here. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. That's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. There's the fake. Will take the shot. Drains the shot. Here's the offensive drop step on low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He'll regroup the offense. Look at that spacing. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Thinks about the shot. Goes up for two. He makes the shot. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. First one is good. Gets his second. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Oliveira is feeling great out there right now. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. job defensively. Great elevator man, man. That's the elevator guy. What a high rising. Trying to pack it inside. They're working around the arc. The skip pass is picked off. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. He shows the sweet touch. That's a seven-zip run. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. Turnover City now will always really negate any offense. Gets it to go. Now they work it around the perimeter. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle. A poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Good athletic move. Very athletic. He's got great athleticism. On the outside, entry pass in the paint, looking for contact.
Inside. On the inside. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. The Volunteers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brady's on fire. The ball goes out of bounds. Bowen receives the ball. That wide stance and the drop step. I tell you, it's all about angles. And if you utilize that drop step, it's like a reverse pivot move. Boy, terrible execution on offense. The point guard handles the pass. Looking for a good shot. Number five has got the people in the bleachers, and they're going to count it. Determination, baby. He goes to the line for the first time. It's good. Oh, my. The screener is leveled by the defender on that pick. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Dribble gives it up. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Here's another look at the play. Bed the low block. Jump hook from the low block. And in and out. Inside. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Both teams looking to get things going here. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. That's seven unanswered. The power forward receives the pass. Number 32 with the fake. He attempts a jump hook. I tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Gave it up. Up fake. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Almost lost a basketball. Defense playing up. The ball goes out of play. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. Got it. He paid no attention to the collision in midair and jammed that hole. Hey, Brad, he wanted to give you something to remember him by. Not checking that. Who would have thought with the cheerleaders? Come on. Hey, he's out of control, Brad. He wants everyone to get up and enjoy the moment, including the cheerleaders. So he'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created a foul opportunity. He wants a three. Goes in. Wow, let's check out the replay. Working around the 
perimeter. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. And off the mark. Basket falls despite the contact. Spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Ten on the shot clock. Home handles the feed. They're working around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. He uses the shot fake. They strip him of the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. That's good. And the ball goes out of play. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, both teams seem to be playing very conservative. We're still waiting for one of these teams to throw the first punch, guys. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Up and inside. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper on the outside. He looks for the bomb. Texas are in a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. The Volunteers have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Shows patience waiting for the reset. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. They've got a player spotting up on the three. Stolen away. Working it around the perimeter. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. And the ball goes out of bounds. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And that what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Pump fakes. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Woodson comes up with it. He was applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wound up with a personal foul instead. Right, that's what happened when the defense is too aggressive and looking for the steal. He goes to the line for the first time. He makes the first shot. Gets two at the charity strike. Both teams looking to get things going here. Picks off the lazy pass. For 
the bucket. Perfectly executed. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. Takes away the pass. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. That's a 9-0 run. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Now they work it around the perimeter. Fakes a jumper. Here's a double team. He shoots from outside. They are red hot from behind the Arctic. They're rolling all cylinders right now. front court steal go up the other way get a layup I'll tell you he missed the post guy the post guy had the great angle was locking on the box he fires away off the rim and no good on the dribble gives it up goes up for two in and out Gave it up. Got it in the low block. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. He makes the block. He gets up the floor on the break. Jumps into the defender. They scored 16 in a row. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. On the dribble, gives it up. He intercepts it. Puts up the J. Missed it. He gets the bucket and the foul. He's here to fight, baby. That's a big run. He'll get one. It goes in. Dickie's doing a nice job defensively fronting it. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball in there. Looking for the foul. Two. Great play to take that to the basket. They work it around the perimeter. He puts it up. Way off target. Trying to draw the foul. There's a double team waiting there. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribble in act here and turns it over. For the bucket, they really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. There's the trap. He shoots from left of the circle. Off the rim and no good. On the outside, jumped in front to take it away. They work it around the perimeter. 
Leans in. Look at that time. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. A little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Looking for a good shot. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. That deserves an encore. Let's watch it here. They're going to move it around the perimeter. Low block. He tries to knock down the three. He hits the shot. I need to see that again, Brad. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Picked off. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. They're doing a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. Steals the pass. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. They'll work it around the arc. Tries to get the D to bite. He launches a three. Great shot. Up it inside. Picked out of the air. On the outside. They've left him completely alone. He shields himself from the screen and scores the basket. Intercepted. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good close position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. There they come with a double team to stop it. Stolen away. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. The ball goes out of bounds. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor... And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Pushing that basketball. Help one another. Communicate. And he misses the shot. High post screen. So effective. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Pump them up then, young man. He wants everyone on their feet. He's saying, get up, people. Get up.
Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. Shot clock is dead. And a momentary look from three-point land. They work the perimeter. Picks off the lazy pass. Here's a drop step in the low block. Very key is to get good post position, and he does, and then he drops the step. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe some game plan changes, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. From way downtown. He misses badly on that three-point attempt. At halftime, the Volunteers trail by one. Now let's rewind a little bit here and watch the play of the half. Tennessee seemed to have caught the turnover bug in that first half, Dick. And that was big, and it bit them hard. You can't put points on a board if you turn the ball over. They better hope it doesn't come back to haunt them. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. The Volunteers have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Brad, he's on fire. They're going to move it around the perimeter. In the paint. Tries for two with a layup. For the deuce, rims out. That ball movement, get that good spacing. Gave it up. He shoots from long range. Off the rim and no good. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. The ball goes out of play. You start comparing these backboards, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know what? For me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all had good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Takes away the pass. The shooting guard with the ball. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Fakes the shot. For two, they're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that... There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. They look like they're having a blast. For the bucket, Tennessee are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they're putting it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. 
for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Stop and pop. Dickey simply on fire. Hey, grow the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Let's get another look, Brad. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too, when he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. The defender is still applying great blood pressure, Brad. He grabs the board. Takes the pass in the paint. Jumps in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. They still don't score. On the dribble, gives it up. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Moving it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Gave it up. Double team now, bad angle. Tennessee have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Look at that spacing. Defender right up on the ball. High post screen, gonna use it. And off the mark. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. High post screen. Puts it up, looking for contact. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon, nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Working it around the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And the ball goes out of play. Check that out. He's pumping up the crowd. He wants him to turn it up a notch. Hey, hey, he wants everyone to get up. Looking for a good shot. For two. 
Look at that John. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. A little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Here's a double team. He bombs from outside. Sinks it. He's going to see this guy to sleep tonight, Dick. He's already living a nightmare, Brad. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Tanner picks up the foul. Second personal foul. Dribble gives it up in the paint. Trying to draw some contact. He allowed the screen to develop before he tossed in the nice inside basket. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Takes the pass in the paint. That spin move's not going to work and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Now they work it around the perimeter. Steals the ball. The shooting guard takes the pass. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Excellent spacing, that's so important to a good offense. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Tries for two. Tennessee is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. The shooting guard gets the pass. He fouled him. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, guys, down here on the sidelines, there is such intensity from both benches. Both coaches are emphasizing shot selection and defensive stops. So important here in the second half. For three. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. the trap he dials long distance drains it they work it around the perimeter gave it up there's a high screen the Longhorns are behind by seven Went away from the post and goes the other way. He strips him clean. Here they go into the break. The game is changing, Brad. These days, guys are consistently playing above the rim. Time to pick up the defense here now. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. 
There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an order. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. Takes away the pass. Goes up for two. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. The point guard takes the feed. Picks off the pass. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. Looking for contact. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out. And, and the shot blocks. And the ball goes out of bounds. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. Intercepted. They'll work it around the arc. He puts up the tray. Great screen set up, but the shot won't go. Double team doesn't work. Hey, weak side's got to be ready to attack the ball. From way outside. Makes it. Gave it up. Great defense. On the dribble, gives it up. Steals the pass. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. That's a great play. What a play. Demonstrating unbelievable skill. Now look at him. He's celebrating with the cheerleaders. Hey, I think he's missed the versatile. Play some hoop, do a little dance. No finish on that one. It's good. Gave it up. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. They're working around the perimeter. Had him in the post and didn't pass it. There's the block. They get out on the break. The power forward gets the ball. Tennessee have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Replay of the night, baby. Gives it up. Nice fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Looking for a good shot. He dials long distance. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry.
Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. They're 15 to 17 feet apart. He rejects it. The ball goes out of bounds. The post flashes up high if he wants it. That's a nice fake. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Scorches the net. They work the perimeter. Ooh, look at the shot block. They got some contact. Nice hops. On the outside. Definitely a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Gave it up. High post flashes for the opportunity. Fakes the shot. He looks for three. Rims out. Rejected. Oh, baby, he showed and telegraphed that baby. Fast break possibility coming. They'll work it around the arc. There's the pick. There's the roll. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The ball goes out of play. Here's a flash from the high post. Jumped in front to take it away. Looking for a good shot. Robs him of the ball. Tennessee have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, and now he's embarrassed. Tries for two, and in and out. He shoots from right of the circle. He is just lighting it up there. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. He shoots from the baseline. Off the rim and no good. For the deuce, he can't get the bucket to fall. For the bucket, he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. The Volunteers have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. He attempts the trifecta. They let him get into a rhythm. <laughs> For two, he gets it to fall. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. There's a double team waiting there. The ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. On the dribble, gives it up. And Dick, they run out of time there. Hey, that defense is simply ferocious, Brad. Well, Dick, the shots seem to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside-outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. With a quarterback pass. 
And they come with a double team to stop it. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented boards out there. Yeah, that helps. And the ball goes out of play. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. Here's a double team. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Well, Mr. Vitale, there's the foul situation so far. Hey, Brad, staying out of foul trouble, that a stretch of any game is vital. You want to keep your opponents off the free throw line and out of bonus situations. He goes to the line. He makes the front end of the one and one. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Second one, no good. Timeout's call. And the coach wants to talk about how they're going to overcome this big deficit. Timeouts can take teams right out of their rhythm, Brad. Let's see what happens here. Cross court. He intercepts it. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Oliveira steps to the line for the first time. He makes the front end of the one and one. Second one is good. Well, the lead is 10, Dick. Are you starting to hear the fat lady? Well, Brad, she could be warming up right now. He takes the shot from the baseline. They need the foul here. And the clock stopped with a foul. He is going to the line. Misses the front end of the one and one. They're going to move it around the perimeter. He unloads. The Longhorns have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. At the line. Gets the first. the second he launches the bomb buried it and yet another foul is it just trying to hang on here nobody likes this part of the game and the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. No doubt about it. This important possession if they want a chance to win. The lead is six. Hey, a tray here in this place will go absolutely bananas, Brad. I can feel it. Foul them early and give your team a chance. Well, Mr. Vitale, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers, missed opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. They need a basket here to turn this into a one-possession game. Time out on the court, so let's go court side. Here's Aaron Andrews. 
Well, guys, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their teams down. With this much time remaining, they're stressing play smart basketball and take care of the ball. I think she's right about that, Richie. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. He'll visit the charity strike. Gets it. He makes the second. Time out on the floor. It's a close one. The trigger fingers are getting itchy, baby. This one's too close to call. We'll see who's got more coming out of this timeout as play resumes. Kicks it out. With the big shot. Rims out. Dick, you've said it so many times. Survive and advance. Well, one survived and will advance. The other one's going home. Well, I tell you, they won this game round. And you look at it and analyze it because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Tennessee is on their way to the Sweet 16 now after dispatching both their first two foes. I'll tell you, Brad, these young men are bringing their A game, and their third-round opponents better be prepared because these kids are looking to go all the way, baby. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.